Chit, chit, chit. You already know it's your boy Joe back at it again. Bow. Listen, man. Already know it's codingface.com. Boy. All right. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so hype, man. And today's Saturday. I woke up late, 12 o'clock. I got some sleep. I'm feeling good right now. But listen, let's talk about this, right? So I was talking to my boy, the Warrior Scholar. So he says, yo, I'm trying to become a, a full stack JavaScript developer. Two years in, so much to learn. Um, and this is great, you know. JavaScript right now is like super hot. But, there's a big but. There's a problem. Is that for a junior developer, somebody who hasn't been working in the industry. Let's say right now, you guys. You guys are here for a reason. You guys are trying to learn. You know how to become a web developer, how to get into the industry. Uh, JavaScript is a really a bad introduction to basically getting a job, and I don't mean JavaScript in the front end. I mean JavaScript in the back end. You know, like learning Node.js, you know, and becoming a, a full stack developer. Uh, you know, with Node.js. You know why? Because most companies they're looking for a mid to senior developer. So it's like, let's say right now, you're trying to get a job and you're applying everywhere and you're like, okay, I want to become a, you know, full stack developer and I'm going to do it all in JavaScript, right? When you go to the interviews, they might call you in and they might be like, hey, uh, you know, do you know this, 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 and this? And if you know it, that's great. But then somebody else comes in and says, hey, I've been working in the industry for you know the past three years I worked at this company I did this and that automatically they're gonna pick the other person right so don't feel bad about it so what can you do about this problem right I would say learn PHP why learn PHP because you have to understand this 99% of small businesses which are your easy way into the industry they're using PHP either Word, um, what's it? WordPress, um, either what's the other one? There's a couple of CMSs that that people use that are in PHP, or you know they're using the framework Laravel, or there's a whole bunch of different small frameworks for PHP, right? You guys could look it up. But it's so easy to get into the industry for one reason. Most companies, what they used to do is they will hire you know Indian workers or uh, Filipino workers you know remote workers in Europe all over the, the world for small small projects you know small design you know websites or whatever like create my little restaurant business freaking website type of thing right but what happens when that company starts getting bigger now right now they're saying hey Instead of us sending out emails to somebody and telling them what to build for us, how about we hire somebody locally, right? And that's where you guys come in, right? That's when you come in, you swoop in on that job and snatch, snatch that shit up. <laughs> you know why? Because it's easy to get into the PHP uh, industry, pretty much. Uh, most companies use it, and it's like so... It's like a great in introduction to web development. Yeah, you could look online and everybody say, oh, PHP is shit. PHP is this and that. I was actually one of those people, too. I, I was just like you guys. I was looking online and everywhere I saw was like, people were talking about, oh, PHP is dead. PHP is such a bad language. But the reality of things is, when you're a junior developer, all you need is to get into one company. Once you get into a one company and you're able to actually start working there and have six months, a year, then you could go ahead and, you know, switch language and, and, and become a full stack JavaScript developer. Uh, because it's like, if you don't have no experience, how can any company, most companies are using JavaScript, they're either startups or already, you know, big companies, you know, so they're not going to hire you a, a brand new developer who has no experience and then they're gonna hire you to train you you know what I mean now when you're a PHP developer it's easy to get into the industry you don't have to do all the runarounds of like you know learning so much stuff like 
people just want to see a website pretty much and that's where you come in you just get get your skills get your practice in and you know and that's it man uh, my boy my boy Chris Sean did a video about this uh, something similar to this well all you need to become a junior web developer today if you guys you know want to check out his video go ahead he has a really good video about it this is called the lamp stack guys so you got uh, Linux Apache MySQL and PHP you know so I would advise you guys learn some PHP like as a junior developer that's your easy way to get into the industry like there's no no other easier way if you learn WordPress you good there's a million bullshit jobs out there right and you have to understand you have to go through the bullshit jobs at first give yourself six months of working in a bullshit uh, digital design uh, agency right or a bullshit a small company you know that has WordPress that has Joomla that has Drupal you know those frameworks CMS's are pretty easy all you have to do is you know you take one tutorial online you learn the the easy things to do and how to edit you know a theme and you're good make your life easier guys like straight up make your life easier uh, don't go for you know difficult languages you know stuff like Python don't go for uh, you know no JS is good because if you know no JS people's gonna take you serious but something like Python something like Ruby something like what's the other one Java something like C sharp those languages are not that easy to get into this is not you know one of those those languages that you could just go in and be like hey I'm a junior developer I have no experience hire me no it doesn't work like that they're gonna you know give you a whole bunch of you know questions difficult questions see where you come from what school you went to this this and that but PHP is different PHP they pretty much hire anybody and that's all you really knew like there's so much that you're gonna learn once you're working in a company that you can't even compare it to you know you working on your own and trying to learn it online so all you need just to get into the industry just one time and then from there you're golden all right guys i'll see you later make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video man leave me a comment tell me what you think about this i want to know exactly how you guys feel about php because i know there's so many people online that be like php is the worst don't learn php don't do this and that and i was just like that but the reality of things is that you guys are junior developers. You guys are not, you know, uh, mid to senior developers. It's easy for somebody to say, oh, PHP is shit when they already have a job. You know what I mean?